Hello graphic designers and welcome back to school. It is January 8th obviously and we've got five days this week and then we've got four days next week, the last day of the semester sadly January 19th for a total of nine days. We've got a lot of work to do um, between then and now and we're going to start off creating PNGs and you're going to see uh, some spreadsheets with your name and the specified image that you're going to be cutting out. I'm going to elaborate I'm going to elaborate on that in a moment. Uh, first, however, why are we doing this? We're going to need these cutouts so that we can create pretty compelling sports marketing posters to celebrate the girls and boys uh, basketball squads at our school. So here's an example of um, a poster using the screen blending mode, juxtaposed with one using the multiply blending mode. You guys are going to have a lot of latitude in what you create. I'm looking for uh, nothing short of genius. I'm really excited uh, to see the quality of your work. Before we can do that, however, we got to start off with the PNGs. So you have a uh, boys list today and a girls list. You're going to find your name. For example, if you are Momo, you're going to left click this link. It's going to bring you to the uh, hyperlink. And uh, here, obviously, is our man Seth. Now, there's two ways you can download images today. If you see the little icons up here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to left click the three vertical dots and you're going to select download. And it's going to download to the downloads folder. Um, that is if it's like a photos.google uh, link. If it's, on the other hand, like an LH3 link, what you're going to do is when you click that, it's going to not give you those options. In that case, you're going to simply right click and save image as. For example, here we've got Hannah with the ill crossover. She doesn't have that um, those icons at the upper right hand corner. So we're going to left click, right click, save image as, left click, boom, and you're going to have it saved to your hard drive. All right, so now we know how to save it. I'm going to once again save Seth's by clicking the three vertical dots, selecting download for the high res image. And then so when we get to Photoshop, file open Photoshop, we're going to need to uh, pay attention right now because some of us have opted for different ways to create selections, um, selection cutouts this year. We're going to be using exclusively the um, elliptical marquee and the magnetic lasso. Although if you want to use the polygonal lasso, that's great as well. So here's what you're going to do. The first thing everyone's going to do is you're going to start selecting the basketball. To do that, we're going to hold, click and drag, and then hold shift. And when you hold shift, it creates a perfect circle, a concentric circle. And then to um, shift that circle around, I'm going to hold space bar. So right now, with my pinky, I'm holding shift. With my index finger, I'm holding the space bar. I'm going to release the space bar pressing space bar and there we've got a perfect circle so if I zoom in a little bit that is a wonderful selection of the ball uh, you guys do not want to use the magnetic lasso this is just a far better selection alright so I'm gonna use the uh, magnetic lasso I'm gonna make sure that the add to selection is highlighted and we're always looking for amazing contrast and I'm gonna go like this and what I know is that right here for example maybe we want to switch to the polygonal lasso so I see that the add to is uh, highlighted and I'm just making a straight line right there. You guys are going to do your best. Each person has maybe four, maybe seven different cutouts they're going to be doing today. And so I'm just going to go like so. Great. And so I'm just doing it in like little chunks. You guys want to zoom in um, because before you submit your uh, PNG, you're going to need to raise your hand. You're going to say draws to approval needed. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to scrutinize your work. So because uh, I'm looking for exceptional, um, exceptional cutouts. All right, you guys know how to do this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to zoom out really quickly, and I'm going to I'm going to make an awful uh, selection right now, just because I know that you guys know what you're doing. We're going to pretend for a second that I'm doing a really good job. All right. So when you're done making your amazing selection, and you might need to take five or ten minutes maybe 15 per cutout. What we're going to do then is press Command C, ladies and gentlemen. We got our cutout, pretending it's amazing. Command C, File, No. We're going to wait a moment. And then you're just going to press Enter, Enter, Command V. And what this does is it creates a, uh, a document the exact size of the image that you just created a selection for. Next, we have to unlock the layer and delete it. Finally, finally, Command M. So you're going to do, or go, that's right, or go to Image Adjusts Curves. And you're going to see this window pop up. And you're going to make a very gentle S curve. Don't do this and submit it because that's bananas. 
we're going to do a very gentle S curves, making the lights a little bit lighter, the darks a little bit darker. You're going to save this as a PNG file. So it's going to be um, your name, Seth. Or actually, it doesn't even really. If you know the basketball player's name, that's great. If not, no worries. So I'm going to write Drozd, um, Seth, cut out. And if you don't know the player, you could simply write Drozd, B-ball, cut out. We're not saving it as a PSD. We're going to be submitting it as a PNG file. Last, last crucial component. So there's going to be a boy's assignment, and there's going to be a girl's assignment. Please, I'm, I'm urging you, make sure that you put the boy PNGs in the boy folder and the girl PNGs in the girl folder because we're going to be doing separate calendars uh, for each squad. And then, of course, we're going to be mixing and matching. Um, I'm really excited to see what you guys produce. If you have any questions today, uh, please let me know. And you're going to raise your hand and say approval needed prior to submitting. One more thing, when you're done with your selection, when you uh, finish your PNG cutout and you submit it to Google Classroom, you're going to go to the spreadsheet and you're going to write done. So for example, when Jackson finishes his first one, he's going to write done. And he does the second one, he's going to write done. That way I can see which one is completed, which one is not. You're going to do this for both the girls and the boys spreadsheet.